Relax, let it down. Come on. Hey guys, what are you doing? Uh, Brianna wanted to learn how to flip product in a pan. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to show her how you kind of let the product go to the front and then you just kind of give it a quick flip and bring it over to the back of the pan. Hmm. Is that? So you drop down. What's that? Is that even like a thing? I mean, is it actually useful or is it just for show? <laughs> no, absolutely. When you're in a kitchen and it's busy, you're, you don't take time to use a spatula. Anything you can flip like this is how you do it. Yeah. All right. So absolutely. So normally I would use rice, but this is all I had today was this dry pasta. So it kind of works, but you just got to kind of, here, keep it a little bit. So just let it go down and kind of just give it a, yeah. Quite the sound. <laughs> you get it? There you got it. Yeah. So you kind of let it down, let the let the product come to the front a little bit, like with this product. If it was full, obviously I'd have to use it more level. But the idea is with the curve of the pan, you want to kind of get it going that direction and then flip it to kind of bring it up. And you want to also have the pan moving when you're doing that. So you kind of uh. So it's like you have to move it back to catch what you're flipping, otherwise yeah. you have a mess. Now if you've got a little bit of product like this and you're, you're more confident at it, you can kind of, in succession, without making such a big deal out of it, where you just... Again, dry box is a little hard. <laughs> That's it.